Good morning. Welcome again to the radio shop. What we have on the bench today is a Kenwood TS50 HF transceiver tech special. I found a guy that had this radio and he uh, offered it to me for $50 so I couldn't turn it down. <laughs> That's one of the bad price. Uh, even if the radio don't work, check the finals and the 2879s check good so that was my money back just out of the finals. Um, the reason I wanted this radio was to use on the bench. Um, I like to keep a HF rig close by the bench when I'm working on things because uh, there's a lot of different things you can use. You can sniff out oscillators and so forth by using the general coverage receiver. So I uh, got the radio in, turned it on, no backlight on the LCD, uh, no transmit, no receive. Um, radio basically comes on and that's about it so uh, I wanted to start looking and I started finding a lot of problems on the TX RX board um, this radio uses surface mount technology and through hole so as I started looking we find that these surface mount caps has leaked so somebody went in and replaced all the surface mount caps all but this one with uh, through hole parts and uh, you get in there you can see how it's barged in it just ran the leads everywhere leads hanging off the side of the board wrapping around going to the bottom side there's been some capacitors replaced back here in the back. Under the uh, flat flex cable, there's a couple of capacitors turned upside down and glued to the board. So, we're going to have to pull all this apart. Pull all those caps out and see if we can find out what's going on. See if it's even repairable. I've had this radio for some time and I've been monitoring eBay to see if I uh, somebody come up with a part rig or uh, had parted one out and uh, it's been a year and uh, no luck so we're going to have to pull it down pull all this stuff out remove these old caps clean the board and see what all can be repaired now the capacitors in question are these that are surrounding the audio amp which is a UPC um, 1241H IC7 and these are the capacitors here that are uh, been replaced and are probably causing a problem. I noticed that on power on the, uh, the amplifier is getting real hot. The 13 volt line is down to about 7 volts which tells me that something is pulling the power down. Um, I don't know how this is affecting uh, the transmitter or the receiver but if this line is being tied down it's probably bringing a lot of other things down throughout the circuit that's uh, needed to power up the rest of the radio as I was looking at the radio I started checking out to find out why the backlights would not work on the LCD um, it appears that C1 has leaked on the ground side and you can see all this is black in here and it has eat some of the traces in too and these traces power the uh, the four pilot lamps for the LCD so I'm going to have to remove C1 and uh, see if I can clean up the board and find out which traces are eat completely into and uh, see if we can repair these I pulled C1 off the uh, display board and you can see the mess that is left where the capacitor has leaked onto the board. You see it's turned everything black, all that's corrosion. And uh, you see all the pins around this uh, IC here has uh, turned black. So all those traces will have to be uh, cleaned and rebuilt and hopefully that'll solve the backlight issue 
So, using one of these cheap USB cameras, I think it was like eight dollars. But it shows me a little something. All right, we'll be back. First step, I think, is what I'll do is go ahead and remove the TXRX board, clean all these capacitors off, and the ones under the ribbon cable, and uh, maybe I can get a better look at just how bad the board is. I have the board pulled out, I haven't removed the components yet, but uh, every one of the SMD caps that's still remaining on the board, you can see they've been soldered on, so someone's removed them and probably checked them. Um, some of them, I can wiggle the capacitors and see the, the trace underneath moving, so I'm going to have to take every capacitor off this board and, and see if I can repair the traces. Back here in the back is those SMD components that has been put on the board upside down and they have little fine wires running down to the circuit board. Well I have all the components removed. I went ahead and removed IC7 out of the way. I'm going to get a check on it. But you can see the corrosion here on these traces and missing pads throughout where the uh, capacitors was mounted. This one here, see both pads are just completely ripped off the board. Over here on the other side. C194, 193 pads completely gone. There's another one up here. The ground terminal's there, but the positive terminal's ripped off and it goes up under this regulator. So, uh, appears I'm going to have my work cut out for me. Let me scan across the board. There's, uh, this capacitor here. See, it's very loose. It's just hanging on by a thread. So I'm going to have to uh, pull that one out and have a go with it. But yeah. And what we'll do, we'll take some very thin copper and cut it out the size of the pad. Clean the board. Epoxy it back down. Connect the traces back up to where they're supposed to be and then put epoxy over top of all these after these are checked out and see how bad the corrosion is on them so it's going to be fun we'll see where it goes and uh, for now this is going to conclude part one of this because it may be uh, a week or so if I can get back on it but I uh, just want to share with this uh, what these capacitors can do and what people can do so there's two forces working against you so we'll catch you next time.